How good will Hisuian Electrode be actually once it's introduced to be a Pokemon home in the spring of 2023? To start off, it's a grass and electric type gaining an additional typing than its present day counterpart Electrode, which is a pure electric type. It has the same stats and abilities as Electrode, which to me at first hand seemed like a huge red flag. But after further looking into it, it's actually probably not all that bad as a Pokemon. Because of its eerily similar resemblance of Electrode with not many changes, this Pokemon will find itself being used in a similar manner as a glass cannon Pokemon. Regular Electrode literally only had electric type moves for its coverage, and that's it. This means it was so easy for ground types to switch in and completely neutralize it. Hisuian Electrode has grass coverage, being a grass and electric type, which bodes nicely against those pesky ground types. It can hit back with Giga Drains, Energy Balls, or another move called Chloroblast. Chloroblast is a base 150 grass type move with 90% accuracy that deals massive grass type damage in exchange for 50% of its HP. For Hisuian Electrode, after using this move because of its defenses, it's mostly going down to any move your opponent clicks. With such a powerful move on this Pokemon side, this Pokemon is already much more viable than regular Electrode, who only relied on Thunder or Discharge or Thunderbolt to do most of its damage, which in turn can be completely neutralized like I said by ground types. You can click Chloroblast and then slowly switch out with the Volt Switch into other Pokemon if you also so choose to. Pokemon in the OU tier like Tinglu, Dondozo, Garganical, and more will have to take into consideration of this Pokemon when battling against it, when this Pokemon comes into play. Additionally, with the introduction of Terrastalization in Generation 9, this means you can tack on one additional coverage move for this Pokemon. For example, a Terra Fire serves to be a well-rounded Terra type for it, getting rid of those pesky grass types such as Wochian or Meow Scrata, or even a Terra Ice type serves to be an excellent choice with its ability to get rid of numerous flying types and dragon types as well. Garchomp, Dragapult, and even more will be in grave danger if a Terra Ice Hisuian Electrode comes out. For the most part, this Pokemon isn't bad of any stretch of the imagination and seems like a much better version of the current Electrode we have. Being probably the fastest Pokemon in the game when it's released into the meta, coupled with coverage moves and possibilities with Terrastalization, makes this Pokemon not a bad choice for selection onto your team. One thing I do not like about Hisuian Electrode, however, is the loss of Light Screen and only having Reflect. I don't know what was Pokemon's reasoning behind removing only one one of the screens, but this means you can't really use Hisuian Electrode as an efficient fast screener if you so chose to. Furthermore, having the same stats as Electrode, while not bad, it still makes it extremely frail in the overall meta. I would have at least liked to see an increase in special attack stat if not anything. One Sucker Punch can also do a lot of damage, an Ice Shard from Chien Pao, or even an Extreme Speed from Dragonite, like these are all scary to look out for for this preferred Pokemon. Additionally, many of the Paradox Pokemon can actually come in on a revenge kill with the booster energy and speed like an Iron Moth or a Roaring Moon just for examples. You might be saying why don't we just choice scarf the Pokemon, but with already a mediocre special attack stat in this day and age of 80, that isn't a wise decision to say the least. Life Orb and Choice Specs seem like much more optimal sets to run over a choice scarf. Overall, this Pokemon has a lot of potential and uses that it can find itself being in play for in the competitive tiers and will certainly have much more of a niche in the competitive scene than its present day counterpart Electrode. This angry looking ancestor is looking to come back and make this Electrode something to be respected of. But what do you guys think of Hisuian Electrode? Do you think it'll be as good? Let me know in the comments below and hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more competitive content. I make competitive Pokemon videos like this and the goal is always to make it entertaining for you guys watching, so liking or subscribing would really help let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below which other Pokemon you would like to see a video of as well.